So this will be a little bit about the January 6th committee's uh, re revelations uh, regarding that whole insurrection mess. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So is serious business going to happen uh, regarding this January 6th committee? Let's see uh, exactly what the cards can tell us. I think it'll be very interesting. hope you like the video. And um, this is done a little in, in advance of when it's being aired, so I hope it's still current when it gets on the uh, tube. Everybody wonders, what are the people on that committee thinking? I mean, Kinzinger and uh, Cheney and, of course, all the Democrats. So... We just have to see what the cards say. I, I really don't. I, I don't have any intuition about it myself. So really, just be reading whatever the cards tell us, and we'll see uh, how that compares. So this impressionist tarot. These cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards, except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the, uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards and um, and so what they they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this uh, this work here but they're gorgeous to use I love them and uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them I mean some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs that's just not what I like to do uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do but uh, this impression is tarot I'm so happy with these cards okay so the January 6th committee and revelations so Will this committee produce significant revelations towards their goal? And uh, their goal is getting at the truth, let's say, to getting at uh, protecting the democracy from this insurrection situation that happened. Uh, protecting us from an autocracy is how I see it. And uh, that's how I think uh, all of them on that committee would tell you the same thing. So the January 6th committee, your goal of, of, of ferreting out these revelations, is this going to be a successful uh, exercise? Because we all feel pretty... Um, left in the cold without a lot of results. I, we're kind of feeling like, I'm feeling like, the Republicans are ruthless and willing to say and do whatever it takes to further their goal, and the Democrats are so um, um, buried in procedure that perhaps uh, that leaves them, some might be feeling a little weak. So, January 6th committee, will these revelations come forth and uh, do the job? Let's do the first six cards on the will the revelations uh, be revealed, significant revelations. One, two, three, four, five, six cards for January 6th, huh? January 6th committee, insurrectionist committee. Let's see what these cards have to say. Okay, the signifier card for this January 6th committee on these revelations. Uh, we start out here with this king 
of Swords. I'm looking for my little wand over here. This King of Swords. So, okay, so this January 6th committee is signified by the King, the very highest power of the rules, law, uh, truth, justice. Okay, so that's the signifier. The uh, challenge to that is then this uh the three is this is the empress so this is fruitful the empress is is almost like mother nature she comes with uh, uh, uh this is the major arcana and the empress is just bountiful okay she has a lot to give up and so the challenge to this uh truth rules law is all the bounty that's there that's interesting this is more than one card here no so that's interesting the base of this reading and then is this two of pentacles you know the two of pentacles typically is talking about balancing the situation out one way or the other these two ballerinas are delicately working out their little routine okay and so and we and so it's an artful uh, delicate um, balance that looks like is the base of this whole uh, situation interesting the past of this reading for the January 6th committee is this um, Ace of Wands. So the past of this, Wands are, are plans, are actions, are forward moving, are fire. This uh, Ace of Wands is a, is a large uh, offering of that, uh, the value of that wand. Uh, like I said, the plan, the, um, the forward motion. But look at this wand. This is an old man's cane, almost looks like, you know, uh, leaned against the wall, not being uh, even used at this moment. Okay, it's just there waiting to be taken up. So the past of this reading is this big offer of a plan that is yet, that I can see, we picked up and, and put into action. Hmm. Uh, the sky of this reading, then, which would be, you know, what you're shooting for, is this uh, king of that wand. Okay, so at this point, so we recognize the plan, and this king now has a plan in his hand. But look, he still looks like sort of a feeble king, doesn't he? He's worked his way out onto the balcony. He's separate from the masses, yeah, but uh, but he has this plan in his hand, and he's bringing it forth kind of gingerly, okay, cautiously. And I think that's how we'd want a king to uh, to handle his plan. We would want him to thrust his plan on us. We would want him to to introduce us to the plan and show us that he has it. And um, but look, he's just so meek. Okay. Now the uh, likely outcome of this first part of this as to whether the revelations will come out. And look at this. So this is the uh, nine of wands. Nine of wands is really being embattled with so many actions, so much, so many um, emotions. Okay, um, wands are a lot of things happening at the same time. This fellow's in the boat, and he has what he needs to propel this boat forward, but he's almost uh, frozen uh, with this um, abundance of choice. Okay, um, so that. Uh, could be part of the situation is that there's so much it seems like he doesn't know yet he hasn't grabbed up yet the two oars that he needs to move his his boat forward very interesting so will you january 6th committee will you move this forward towards a uh, prosecution let's say it the self of that question is this queen of pentacles okay so the queen uh, the pentacles are worth value this queen has her hands on her hips okay this is like when mom stares you down and says okay i told you you're going to do this and that's exactly what's going to happen so yeah this feminine power this subtle energy um yeah this queen of, of pentacles is in charge of this situation but what's she in the environment of what is she in the environment of she's in the environment of this ten of cups well that's a good a good thing to be in charge of the ten of cups look it's a rainbow in the pat in the in the past here there's these sturdy lily pads on this beautiful uh, uh little uh inlet or lake of of, of uh, compassion so this cup cups of compassion passion emotions and uh, the ten is usually a celebratory outcome in that regard so this queen is in the environment of this this positive outcome the um hopes and the fears for this then is oh look at this this is the star so yeah this is the uh 50 60 17 is the star the major arcana we're far along in the joe fool's journey with the 17 remember we only go to 21 and uh, to be the star in that says to me that yeah this is a big yes card um we're going to um have this um illumination but illumination at night is certainly different from illumination during the day um, but it is a star and it is a yes card and it is uh, a moving forward card and then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing 
for, is this, um, what number is this? This is temperance. So yeah, 10, 14. Yeah, this is temperance. This is finding the balance. So for some reason, there may be some issues here that aren't clear to the rest of us who aren't in that committee, but there's a balance, there's a temperance, there's a tempering that has to take place. And still, we've got this feminine energy that's in charge of doing that. And that's who I would, that's who I would want to be in charge of it, as a matter of fact. So it looks like that committee's uh, decisions on prosecution are going to be led by some sort of a temperance. Let's go over it one more time. Okay, so uh, signifier question, will you find the revelations? King of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, king, totally in charge, yes. Uh, challenged by what? Challenged by this uh, empress, all the bounty, all the fruitful, everything that's there. There's a lot of information. There's a lot to choose from, okay? The uh, base of this reading with this two of pentacles is this delicate uh, um, uh, collaboration. Uh, what do they call that when you put a, a, an act together, routine together? But uh, yeah, so this delicate uh, balance with these two of pentacles, two of worth, getting this balance, this value just exactly right for this performance. In the past of this reading is this great big ace of wands, which is a yes card. And it's, it's a, a powerful card, but this ace is leaned up against the, the wall, not quite put into use yet until we get to this king of wands right here where he's picked up the wand, he's brought it out to show us to say, look, I'm the king and I have this plan and you can be assured that it's something I'm going to bring forward. That's how I would feel about it anyway. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing though leaves us kind of in a lurch here with this nine of wands. This fellow who's just got so many options that he's not sure what to do with them. Wands are going to um, forward mo movement, plans, actions, uh, motions, and so that's where we're at. Kind of at a stall almost. But then with the... Um, but the nine of, uh, of wands is embattled, but uh, ready to move on, ready to, to pick up and go forward. Um, the um, signifier for the uh, basis of this question, the self of this question, we come up with this very strong feminine uh, presence and this queen of pentacles saying, yes, I'm the queen of the value, and this is how this is going to work out. And then we, it's in the environment of this ten of cups, which is all the emotional um, wherewithal that comes to the situation. Rainbows, beautiful flooding of emotions right here. Ten of pentacles is a nice big yes card also. The uh, hopes of the fears then with this star um, is, um, you know... A, a lot of illumination, but it's a subtle illumination. And it's just kind of backed up by the final outcome of this whole thing with this female uh, balancing the temperance with the major arcana towards the end of the fool's journey, tempering the situation uh, before they serve it up. Interesting. So it all looks positive, but it's not a definite yes, but it certainly is definitely moving in a yes direction. So what do you think? Did that ring true for you? Um, sometimes we're not always satisfied with the results, but you know, the cards say what the cards say. I hope I got it right. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.